Let's go a year ago today. Let's go back one year ago today. There was this NFC South team a year ago. High on emotion. The media was falling for. First time MVP at quarterback. His name was Cam. Getting all the pre-Super Bowl love from the fans. Having an outlier season. They were going to face a historically relevant franchise that had been to several Super Bowls and had a Mount Rushmore quarterback aging. That team, Denver, had the number one ranked defense. Not as flashy, though. Not as loved, though. Just more dependable. Been there before. Sound familiar? Carolina last year was Atlanta this year. An NFC South team, high in emotion, media falling for, really great on one side of the ball with a first-time MVP at quarterback, having an outlier season, going to face a dominant historic franchise with a Mount Rushmore quarterback on his last few legs. That also sounds like 1998 when Atlanta lost to John Elway and Mike Shanahan, doesn't it? The Dirty Birds got all the press. The media fawned over them. Chris Chandler suddenly was really good, though he'd been mostly average. Atlanta then was facing an aging Elway. His offensive coordinator, a young emerging head coaching candidate, Gary Kubiak. Who's Tom's coordinator? A young, energetic head coaching candidate, Josh McDaniels. Oh, these adorable franchises having their outlier seasons. Solid quarterbacks having an outlier great year. Fans are rabid. They come up with slogans like, rise up. I got another one for you. Going down. In trouble. Meet Brady. Name Tom. Isn't it funny? A year ago today, exact same thing. Exact same thing. Denver cannot withstand that dominant defense. New England will be blown out by this dominant offense. So I get Belichick, better defense, big game experience. One of the more multi-layered offenses I've seen and the best big game team in football. You can have the uh, NFC South outlier team, outlier season. By the way, um... Carolina dropped off. Be interesting to see what happens to Atlanta when Kyle Shanahan leaves. But I know who will be back here time and time again. Teams like Denver and New England. Not as flashy, not as adored, probably not where the money goes. But you're darn right New England should be a favorite.